When death is the good option, <laughs> it is easy to see why John Fetterman is so depressed. It's Demo the Democratic Party in Big Pharma that are unleashing the crazies on you, and nobody seems to have a solution for it. I hope we do not forget the pain and anguish and sense of loss felt by those all over the country who have been the victims of violence at the hands of illegal aliens. I just walked out of a conference meeting with my colleagues on the way to the war room, and they were yelling at me saying, oh, well, you're just doing this for outrage and fundraising. And, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, you all go and prostitute yourself to lobbyists for money. And you want to criticize me because hundreds of thousands of Americans all over this country give me 10, you know, 15, 25 dollars at MattGates.com. Like, shame on you. You come to this place and go and, and shine the shoes of the special interests, and then you go do their bidding with your vote. Card. These are examples of right wing populists talking out of both sides of their mouths and illustrating ultimately how hollow they are. First, Matt Gates. He wants to talk about how he doesn't take corporate PAC money. Sure, that's true, but he still takes Republican PAC money, the House Leadership Fund. He still takes money from them, which takes money from takes takes money from corporations, yep. special interests, and billionaires. He also takes individual donations, the max contribution from billionaires, CEOs, and people representing special interest groups. It's not that he's just totally sworn off of corporate money. The Democrats are purposefully riling up their nutty shock troops in hopes that they will terrorize normal Americans into submission. Rand Paul was assaulted by his riled up neighbor. A congressional baseball practice was shot up by a riled up Bernie bro. You just heard the voicemail left for me and more will come. It's Demo the Democratic Party in Big Pharma that are unleashing the crazies on you and nobody seems to have a solution for it. Actually, uh, there have been many solutions, including funding mental health care, single payer health care system would actually solve a lot of our societal ills, but we can't do that. By the way, when it comes to funding mental health care, I believe Matt Gates had the opportunity to vote in favor of allocating the resources for that, but didn't choose to vote yes on that bill. So not, not at all concerned about mental health care. They love to invoke the need for mental health care after a mass shooting, but they never mean it. And why is he bringing up political violence when this mass shooting had nothing to do with political violence at all? As we hear the stories and circumstances for those here, I hope we do not forget the pain and anguish and sense of loss felt by those all over the country who have been the victims of violence at the hands of illegal aliens. HR8 would not have stopped many of the circumstances I raised, but a wall, a barrier on the southern border may have, and that's what we're fighting for. Mr. Chairman. Well, gentlemen will suspend. So again, I hope that we'll deal with all of the drivers of violence. The greatest driver of violence in the circumstances that I indicated was not the firearm. It was the fact that we have an immigration system that allows people to come here violently. We engage in- well, with that. This is a house meeting about how gun violence is you know, destroying the lives of countless Americans right now. And Gates decides, mm, you know what? Uh, it doesn't make my donors happy to talk about this issue, so let me go ahead and deflect by demonizing uh, undocumented immigrants and talking about Trump's border wall. 47% of Gen Xers say that they can't even think about saving for retirement and are just trying to you know, take care of day-to-day -day expenses, month-to-month -month expenses. 64% of Gen Xers say that they won't have enough saved for retirement, period. 67% say their income is not keeping up with the rising cost of living in Joe Biden's America. Uh, this and no one wants bleak. to buy their CD collections anymore. <laughs> the Gen Xers that yeah. got all the great you know, music. <laughs> No, no one even wants that. So that major investment that was made unlikely to issue a return. When death is the good option, it is easy to see why John Fetterman is so depressed in this economy. And it is a direct result of the inflation. Like Jen was saying, if you're a younger person, if you're in the economy, you can go make more money. You see variable income, but if you are a 
hoping that you don't outlive your cash and that cash right. doesn't go as far as it used to, you can easily see how there is a true victim of this. They wanna act like they can keep printing money right. and underwriting debt and no one ever pays for that. But it's actually grandma and grandpa who pay for that when they don't get to live their, their final days and final years in dignity. If you're actually concerned about how wages have not kept up with inflation, then you wouldn't be supporting the Republican Party, you wouldn't be rooting for them, and you certainly would be speaking out against the austerity that they keep pushing onto working people every time they're in power. But that's not what Republicans are doing, that's not what Matt Gates is doing. Just be clear on that. Their economic populism is fake, super fake, and it's super annoying to hear them pretend like they care about the little guy, they don't.